Hello everybody, is the audibility absolutely fine? Please check it once. Am I audible to each and every one of you? Is the audibility absolutely fine? Let me check to both the channels. Yeah, I can clearly see that. I am audible to... Right. I am audible at R RBR search channel. And let me check the other one. At Creatrix, I am absolutely audible, I guess. Yes. So I think I'm audible at both the channels. Absolutely perfect. So the audibility is absolutely fine at both the channels. Great. So the audibility is absolutely perfect. Kartika Ratnam. I'm ready for Kartika Rat. Kritika Ratnam ji. It's great to read. You are a 24 year old woman and you are 9 months pregnant. Ma'am, first of all, best wishes. You are an expectant mother and undoubtedly you are a warrior without any doubt. And for you, you are an inspiration to people like us. It's always good to be inspired, but it's great to be inspirational. Fantastic, ma'am. And keep it up, keep it up. Keep on fighting like this. Great to see this, ma'am. And to all the people, I think the audible is absolutely perfect. I'm audible to each and every one of you. Great. Absolutely fine. I think I'm audible to each and every one of you. This is the fourth lecture of verbal and reasoning. Before this, I have already taken three lectures on verbal and reasoning. I have promised you guys that I'll be taking on nine different days, total 18 sessions. That is on each and every day, I'll be taking two sessions, one for quant and graph and the other one for verbal and DR, uh, LR. All in all 18 sessions and it will pan out like 18, these 18 sessions would be around about 30 to 36 hours. If any one of you who hasn't prepared anything for gate 2021. I'm talking about the aptitude segment. Even if someone has not prepared, if anybody can go through all these sessions and make proper notes, mark my words and my promise to you guys, you will feel absolutely confident about gate aptitude. Even if you haven't started it still, you can easily get more than 10 marks and even if you have the slightest of the ideas you can score more than 12 marks in gate aptitude fine do make sure that whatever i tell you guys make sure you make proper notes of it even before starting the session i want you people to let me know out of all the students how many of you have attended all the four verbal and reasoning session this is the fourth one all three I should say first second and third how many of you have attended all the three sessions it might be possible you have missed it but the student had those people who have missed it by some for some or the other reason they have completed it on Sunday so anyone who has completed all the sessions Lizzie yeah I remember you Lizzie that's great to see Aryan Jyoti Rajat absolutely perfect so tomorrow I'll be taking uh, prior to this, I had already taken four sessions and tomorrow I'll be taking the fifth one. On 26th of January, I'll be taking the fifth session. So don't miss that. So tomorrow, how many cases, how many classes you can attend? On YouTube, I'll be taking verbal and reasoning. Tomorrow, that will be my fifth session. Other than this, tomorrow, I'll be taking at 8 in the morning, I'll be taking quant and graphs. Don't miss this class as well. This will be my fifth lecture not just this on 26th on ft express this channel i'll be back at 7 am i'll be talking on this and that is don't be a maybe whatever you decide in life go all out for your dreams go all out for your aspirations someone's opinion of you should never become your destiny we should never become someone else's mental prisoner and after that i have 
in the in the morning class you guys have asked me regarding this sir any more special classes will you take on permutation and combination probability so i have decided to take one more special class on 26 that will be on tomorrow so best of permutation and combinations and probability in this particular session the, you will going to enjoy this session if you have some basic idea of permutation combination probability in this particular session i will be taking this this session will be available on youtube don't worry about it so this will be available on youtube i will be taking those questions which are important and relevant to your gate aptitude 2021 make sure you don't miss this so tomorrow i'll be taking this session on youtube on both the channels rbr search channel as well as create freaks right so i'll be taking both these sessions uh, then on ft express at six in the evening i have made a small video on you know sequence and series that will also be available at six in the evening it's a small 15 minutes video if you want you can avail the benefit of this as well right so i think there are many videos that i have lined up for you guys tomorrow and this is my promise to you guys in the next two days that is not tomorrow but 27 28 i have decided a very small free classes it's a course of three to four my expected paper of gate aptitude so from my side what is very very important for gate 2021 i'll be taking that class on an academy app but that will be absolutely free don't worry about it that will be absolutely free i'll let you know what is the date and how long i'll be taking those classes other than these sessions i'll be taking those classes as well you just need to log in from your mobile phone that will be it will that be enough and even after this if you say no sir we want a few more classes i'll take those classes as well so don't worry about it right so i'll be taking every single thing whatever is relevant and important for you guys the main idea is frankly speaking my the only idea is i want you guys to score 15 out of 15 marks that's the main idea right these are my credentials later sometime if you want you can pause the video and you can read it i have been teaching for the past 10 years so you can pause and read uh, you can pause the video later on and you can read all these things i have been teaching for the past 10 years this is the thing i enjoy the most right so <clears throat> you can install the an academy app and as i told you guys those live special classes will be absolutely free you can avail those benefits and there are other courses on plus and iconic platform uh, th these there are certain paid courses like uh, plus and iconic there you can have live classes doubt clearing sessions english the the classes will be bilingual in hindi and english i personally like iconic because it has got one mentor as well so there are many courses which are available and in the month of February, especially for gate 22, 23 students, I'm telling this, I am bringing one, co I'm bringing a few courses for gate in 2022 and 23 aspirants. So meanwhile, what you can do guys, you can install the Academy app and uh, the moment my course is there, you can, if you want, you can join it and you can like put up this code ST26 and straight away you can avail the benefit of 10% right not just this if you want you can have an iconic subscription you just need to write this st26 and straight away you can have 10 percent discount that will be really helpful and uh, <coughs> you can follow me on telegram the spelling is sa it's by mistake it has written so it is sa if you install the academy app and if you can follow me over here whenever i launch a course and whenever i launch my free special classes on academy app you can get the notification and that is very very important so just install it so that day after tomorrow within next two three days i'll be starting three days course that will be absolutely free to all of you whosoever downloads the app that will be absolutely free so we'll get the notification over here right uh, today in the morning i have sent the pdf of at this particular channel of what we've discussed in the morning once we are done with this class i'll send the pdf of this class as well so don't worry about it right i think we should start if everybody is ready i think we can start but before starting just a few lines many imagine not many execute talk is cheap show me the code in this real world you may come across and you will come across people blabbering about different stuffs that is why many imagine 
not many execute talk is cheap show me the code in this world it is very easy to be desiring desiring each one of us we desire a better life we desire something more in our life but there are very few people who become deserving the the whole idea of human evolution is to travel the journey from desiring to deserving the idea is to become deserving in this world when there is so much chaos around us every single piece of information need one minute of ours there are things which are really important to us but at the very same time there are things which are not important to us at that time say to yourself i choose to ignore those informations and ignore them sir why because write it in the comment box the most important line i am the project of my life write it in the comment box and let's start i am the project of my life if i am the biggest project of my life i will definitely walk the extra mile i will definitely do every single thing whatever it takes i will do every single thing whatever it takes to become a deserving individual i am the project of my life and i think let's start today's session absolutely now listen to this very very carefully in today's session not just verbal i'll be taking i have you know i have kept questions from reasoning as well verbal verbal reasoning and more of this kind not uh, vocab based questions listen to this it has been seen that in your exam in reasoning one of the easiest topic is syllogism listen to this very very carefully listen to this i'll give you three examples and all three examples have actually come in your exam right and once i'm done with these three examples almost every single question whatever question will come in your exam you will be in the position to solve those questions now listen to this there is something called syllogism s y l l o g i s m sir is it important for gate yes indeed it is it is i do believe that it is very very important for a gate exam it has been seen in the past that if you see the bifurcation of your verbal segment iit has preferred giving one question from critical reasoning one question from syllogism or blood relationship or sequence and series these are absolute cake walks absolute cake walks very very easy sir what is the meaning of this listen to this very very carefully every single thing around syllogism actually revolves around four or five different words we need to understand four or five different words that's it let us suppose there are two guys there are two guys what i am about to say i have already said for critical reasoning but critical syllogism is part of critical reasoning let us suppose there are two guys and they are talking about bahubali the first guy said bahubali was a great movie he said no it wasn't it was it wasn't it was it wasn't and the discussion continued first of all this is not at all an argument every single person please listen to this very very carefully right i am telling you this after 2 hours like once i'm done with the session you will get enough confidence in many different things right once again there are two more guys and these two people are discussing about the very same movie but in a different way how come they are discussing about the very same movie the first person say mr rajamouli rajamouli sahab is an absolute genius he is an absolute genius because only a genius can create such kind of movie it's not just a movie it's some it's a cinematographic bless it's an unbelievable cinematographic experience prabhas sahab shetty sahib rana dagupa these are unbelievable actors katappa sahab hamare vfx we haven't seen vfx like this ever in our industry the songs the lyrics unbelievable and based on this this guy said 
it has hands down it has been probably one of not just a great movie it has been a scintillating experience experience of its kind now this is an argument but why this is an argument because this has got certain reasons and these reasons are called premise so these they are the premise and then there's a conclusion listen to this very very carefully just four five five words we need and that's it that is what syllogism is all about that's it so this is called premise i have in short i have written p and this is the conclusion conclusion is the outcome so based on some premise you have given a conclusion this entire thing is called this entire thing means premise followed by conclusion this entire thing is called an argument it means that you are saying that an argument comprises of premise followed by a conclusion indeed it is great coming back to what exactly is reasoning when you say reasoning there are two different kinds of reasoning first let us see let's see an example don't miss anything whatever i say right first let me take an example sir what is this p1 p2 and c in the previous example in the previous point i said about premise and conclusion that this is premise and this is conclusion the very same thing so let's see what is this p1 let us say for example some men are some men are ingenious some men are ingenious great absolutely perfect ingenious are buffoon some men are ingenious ingenious are buffoon some men are ingenious ingenious are buffoon great then in the conclusion if it is written that some men are buffoon sir what is the meaning of buffoon buffoon is clown sir what is that that you've written i'll let you know some men are ingenious okay some men are ingenious let us suppose this is men and this is ingenious some men are ingenious okay ingenious are buffoon ingenious are buffoon it means some men are buffoon here we can see that there is absolutely no doubt with this conclusion listen to this very very carefully the first word that i've discussed is premise and conclusion now let's move on and understand this and then four premise that will be it you don't need anything else so coming back to this coming back to this part what is this this is <clears throat> so in in case if there is no ambiguity there is no doubt with conclusion this kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning this kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning what does that mean where we can have unique solution this kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning where we can have unique solution this unique solution this word play a very important role not just in reasoning but in data sufficiency as well and we will be calling it as ln that is logical necessity you know nobody calls it ln we have we've just given it a name just for our sake just for a better understanding that's it so what is that we have understood till now the very first type of reasoning is called deductive reasoning but what kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning where there is no ambiguity where there is no doubt with the conclusion where the conclusion is absolutely unique that kind of reasoning we have termed as ln logical necessity this is the term i have created just to make you understand right this is not a unanimous term 
this probably you won't find in most of the books so ln is logical necessity so from here onwards whenever you come across the word logical necessity it means unique solution is it clear to each and every one of you is it clear till now is it clear buddy great i think it is so what is that that we've discussed the very first type of reasoning is when there is no doubt with the conclusion there is no ambiguity with the conclusion absolutely unique conclusion and this kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning and that is why in critical reasoning you have seen what can be inferred what can be concluded what can be deduced from the above paragraph the meaning is unique solution the meaning is logical necessity that is ln on the contrary if there is any ambiguity there is some doubt with the conclusion let's take one more example let us suppose this is p1 this is p2 and this is the conclusion let us suppose i have taken let me take an example ravi is an engineer next ravi is a buffoon you know what now i am in a fix if this is ravi's circle and if ravi is an engineer and if i have been told that the very same guy this ravi this ravi is a buffoon now i am in a fix to draw it like this or to draw it like this don't worry we'll sort it out that's not a problem but right now we are facing a problem ravi is an engineer that i can understand understand that i have clearly that i can clearly see ravi is an engineer that, that is absolutely fine it has also been mentioned that ravi is a buffoon ravi is a buffoon so i cannot able to understand whether to draw the circle over here or here this kind of reasoning where there is some ambiguity with the conclusion this kind of reasoning is called inductive reasoning sir what will come over here we'll talk about it don't worry you will be in this position to tell about this so don't worry about it but this kind of reasoning is called inductive reasoning sir what kind of reasoning is called inductive reasoning where there is doubt with the conclusion so till now what is that that we've understood reasoning has got two varieties first when there is no doubt second when there is any discrepancy any doubt when there is no doubt that kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning and when there is no doubt it is this kind of reason when there is no doubt this this kind of reasoning is called deductive reasoning when there is any doubt any discrepancy that kind of reasoning is called inductive reasoning when there is no doubt there is unique solution that is called ln and we have termed this as lp logical possibility this is not a universally accepted term i have just created this term so that you can understand you and i can be on the same page that is it ln logical necessity unique solution lp logical possibility multiple solutions are possible is it fine till now have you understood the two words sir what two words deductive reasoning inductive reasoning ln lp are these two words absolutely clear to you guys now you need to understand four more words that will be it i will share those these slides don't worry about it is it clear yeah this is for all the branches aptitude is common for all the branches right great absolutely clear right absolutely fine so we have understood these two sir why you have why are you emphasizing on these two words i have been emphasizing on these two words not in just not in this class but previous class as well you know why because syllogism critical reasoning there is a few more topics there are a few more topics like logical connective and few more topics these are absolutely one single topic and that is called critical reasoning right now listen to this we have been talking about this premise right now we need to understand four kind of premises so we are talking we will be talking about four different kinds of premises what exactly these four kind of premises are four words four lines that's it all x is or r y right in a very simple language don't miss this don't miss this total six points two points we've already covered what is deductive reasoning what is inductive reasoning ln lp four words 
I'm talking about just four words and your talk this particular topic of yours will be good to go absolutely perfect right or X is or R Y now listen to this when you say this I want you people to write something and sir what is that you know what at times it is difficult to understand any statement but once you quantify something it becomes very easy to understand sir I didn't understood understand that I'm explaining that let us suppose X is a set which has got three elements one two three why is another set which has got one two three four five elements when you say this statement all x is r r y or x is r or r y both these statements are absolutely same but i want to people to write this in bracket and what is that every single element of x is element of y do make sure that you write the statement I'm not exaggerating, but this statement is, will not be available in different books with all due respect to books. But still, I'm saying this. Sir, what is that that you've said? Every single element of X, okay, is element of Y. Is it fine? And after writing this, draw a diagram like this. Every single element of X is element of Y. So this is X and this is Y. Every single element of X is element of Y. Furthermore, I want to people to write. And what is that? It means there is no element in X which is not Y. Whoa, this is some good point. How come? This is the reason. It might be possible X can grow and become as good as Y. In this case, if you draw a figure like this, sir, where is Y? X and Y have overlapped. This is also fine. But what is not fine? What is not fine is this. When you say all X is or are Y, it means every single element of X is element of Y. This diagram. Sir, but in books, I have seen only this diagram. Yes, because this is the extreme case. This is the maximum X can be. Syllogism is not about maximum. Listen to this line carefully. Syllogism is not about maximum. Syllogism is not about extra extreme case. Sir, why? That is the reason I have told you the very first statement of mine. And that is deductive reasoning. What is deductive reasoning? Deductive reasoning is unique solution. Unique solution is something that is true unconditionally. How can extreme condition be always true? And that is why every time we talk about syllogism, we talk about at least case. Why? Because at least case is something that will be true everywhere. Because the objective is to attain unique solution. But it is also correct. But you will not find this figure in books. What is incorrect is this. I said all X is or are Y. It means every element of X is element of Y. In this case as well. This is the maximum X could have been. It also meant that there is no element of X which is not Y. X cannot be greater than Y. Is it clear to each and every one of you? Have understood this X? Is it clear? Is it fine, everybody? Is it absolutely fine? Is it absolutely clear to each and every one of you? Yes. Those people who are from northern part of India, वो लोग हिंदी में इस लाइन को लिखेगा. When we say all X is or R Y, इसका मतलब होता है X is or R Y. जिसका मतलब है x का हर एक एलिमेंट y है और इसका मतलब यह भी होता है 
x के पास ऐसा कोई भी एलिमेंट ही नहीं है जो y नहीं है और फिर मैंने बीच में ये कहा था एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ x इज y x हैजेंट हैव वन सिंगल एलिमेंट विच इज नॉट y and this is the maximum x can be but syllogism is not about maximum syllogism about unique solution and that is why in book you rarely find this figure we always prefer this syllogism minimum case ke bare mein hai and that is why book mein aapko ek figure kam dikhega aur ye figure dikhega jo unconditionally true hoga because the idea behind syllogism is something that is unconditionally true is it fine everybody something that is always true something that can produce you something that can give you a unique solution I told you that syllogism is all about six points. First, I told you what is deductive reasoning. Second, I told you what is inductive reasoning. Third, I told you what is the meaning of this premise: all is or are why. Now let's move on to the next fourth statement. That is my second premise: no x is or are why. See, you can find all these statements anywhere in any book by any tutor. That's fine. What I am telling you, the devil is in the details. What I am telling you to write in bracket, that is the most important thing, right? When you say that no x is or r y, mainly what happens? You see this figure. There is x and there is y, which is fine. Very cute figure, absolutely fine. I want you people to write in bracket. No x is or r y. What is the meaning of this? X and y are disjoint sets. It's first. That is. There is no element of x which is element of y. Hindi me bolta. When you say no x is or r y, is ka matlab kya hota hai? X and y disjoint sets hain. Ab disjoint sets ko Hindi me kya bolte? Utna main nahi janta. X and y disjoint sets hain. Second point. X me aisa koi bhi element nahi hai jo y nahi hai. X में ऐसा कोई भी एलिमेंट नहीं है जो Y है सॉरी X में ऐसा कोई भी एलिमेंट नहीं है जो Y है देर इज नो एलिमेंट ऑफ X विच इज Y. एब्सोलूट डिफरेंट आई वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू टेक सम एग्जाम्पल X इज वन टू थ्री ओके Y इज लेट्स टेक दिस फोर फाइव सिक्स एब्सोलूटली फाइन दर इज नो रिलेशन दोनों अपनी अपनी दुनिया में मस्त हैं X हैज गॉट थ्री एलिमेंट्स One, two, three. It has got three elements. Four, five, six. It means by no ways these two guys are related. Absolutely disjoint, disconnected. There is no element of x which is y. X के पास ऐसा एक भी element नहीं है जो y है. Are these two premises absolutely clear, guys? Am I clear with both these premises? Is it clear? Is it absolutely fine? Great. Absolutely perfect. Right? Shall we move ahead? I told you I'll be telling six points. I'm done with four. Is everybody fine with these four points? Never forget this. Syllogism is all about unique solution. Unique solution, single solution. Ellen, logical necessity. Right? Great. Let's move on to the fifth. So this is the fifth point. The penultimate point. Sum x is or r y. Now listen to this very very carefully. I need some help from gram uh, gr uh, verbal grammar. How come I need some help? See, even before starting the statement, I want to talk about some. Some is a very beautiful positive word. Some is the word which can be used as countable or uncountable. Both the cases. In case uh, some can be used in case of countable as well as in case of uncountable as well. It's absolutely perfect. Right? If I say I ate some rice, rice is uncountable. It is absolutely correct. I ate some mangoes. It is also absolutely correct. Although mango is countable, so some is something that is countable. Some something that can be used as countable or uncountable. Absolutely fine. Is it fine? But just to have a better understanding, better grip on this topic, let us consider some as countable. Some is countable. When I say countable, it means countable noun. Some एक ऐसा शब्द है जो countable और uncountable दोनों cases में use हो सकता है I ate some rice is correct. I ate some mangoes भी correct. Just to have a better grip on this, I am taking some as countables. What is the meaning of this? 
some is some the meaning of this word is at least to one you won't believe this i have been telling this particular point you know for for many years and one of i'll show you the question your iit has directly asked this question this particular line directly asked this particular line right we'll 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 see this question don't worry so the meaning of sum is at least one let's take in count just to have a mutual consensus sum is at least one so what is the meaning of this at least i want you people to write this in bracket at least one element of x is element of y please write this at least one element of x is element of y at least just a minute at least at least one element of x is element of y okay at least to one element of x sir more than one is also possible of course at least one at least one element of x is element wo now this is some point man some element of x let us suppose x has got 100 elements y has got 100 elements it means the meaning of this premise is at least one element so what is the maximum all the elements of x can be common to y sir but in book i have seen only this figure because this is the maximum case so lots of them is not about this so sir it means this is not true this is not about true or false this is about do you have the information to give a conclusion sir it means that this is what you are saying right so you are saying that let's take an example let's take an example if i take x like this x has got element 1 then 2 and 3 y has got element 1 4 5 6 some element of x is y there is only one element of x that is y okay this is very basic very prelim, uh, primary level example let's take the second one x has got element 1 2 and then there is 3 y has got element 1 2 Four, five. This is also fine. X has got elements like this. One, two, three. Y has got elements like. Y has got elements like. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is equally correct. But syllogism is about minimum case, at least case, such that we can have a unique conclusion, and that is why you see this kind of figure. Is it clear to each and every one of you? Is the sum premise clear to each and every one of you? is it is the sum premise clear to each and every one of you is it fine everybody is it clear to each and every one of you so sum means at least one so the meaning of this premise is there is at least one element of x there is at least one element of x which is y at least underline that word at least there is at least one element of x that is y coming to the very last premise of mine and this is the fourth one sum x is or r not y do remember even after gate in most of the exams you will see this premise right even after gate not just in gate in most of the other exams you will see this premise just now sir you said that sum is at least one correct sir absolutely at least one so sir then the meaning of this statement pans out to be sir iske pehle hi just aapne kaha sum ka matlab hai kam se kam ek to is jo kathan hai ye statement jo hai iska matlab ye nikal ke aata hai at least one element of x is not y kam se kam ek x एक एलिमेंट एक्स के पास ऐसा जरूर है जो वाई नहीं है वॉट कैन बी द मैक्सिमम एक्स नो एक्स इज वाई डिस जॉइंट सेट्स लिस टू दिस इन बुक्स यू विल सी दिस फिगर एंड दैट क्रिएट्स डाउट एज वेल लिस टू दिस दिस इज वॉट यू विल गोइंग टू सी दिस इज वाई एंड आई एम ड्रॉइंग दिस नो लुक एट दिस केयरफुल दिस इज एक्स and this premise is about this sir what are you saying 
you can cut it like this no 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 that is not true so i have not understood this listen to this now let us suppose i take an example y is equals to 1 2 3 4 let me take let me take three different situations in fact just to have a firm grip just so that you can have a very firm grip in these three cases let us suppose there is one blank there is another blank and then listen to this very very carefully and then we have six seven okay second case i'll be comparing these blank blank six seven and finally the third case blank blank six and seven okay fine listen to this what is the meaning of this premise this sir what does that mean there must be at least one element in x which is not y sir but why have you written this blank because i am not we are not sure about rest of the elements sir for example let's take an example 1 2 1 8 8 9 sir what is this let's draw this then we'll understand this this is x this is y this is y y y just look at this what is happening in this case one one two and here in this case let me draw this just look at this one two six seven this is x okay one two six seven great and here one two three four okay now listen to this when you say some x is or are not y this premise is based on this part sir what about this one and two we are not aware of this this is based this premise is based on the x k pass kam se kam ek element aisa jarur hai jo y nahi hai aur baki sir we don't have any information x must have at least one element which is not y and rest of the elements we are not aware of it aware of not aware of it ka matlab sir it can have something common with y or it might be possible these two sets are entirely disjoint let's take few more examples one six seven eight okay and here in this case one two three four once again this premise is about the six and seven let's come back to this six seven eight nine and then in case of y we've got one two three four just see this each of this each of this each of these figures these conditions are absolutely correct and that is why if you draw it over here six and seven will definitely come over here and that is why what i said at least one element of x is not y what about the other elements of x we are not aware of it it might be possible a few element of x is y or it might be possible both of these are absolutely disjoint set but one thing is for sure in all the cases whatever cases we can have there is something which is not common to y now is it clear to each and every one of you is it clear to each and every one of you is it clear is it fine everybody great i think it is clear to each and every one of you so what is that that we've discussed in short this is what we have discussed listen to this very very clear and carefully this is what we have discussed the very first point that i have talked about what is deductive what is deductive reasoning when you say deductive reasoning it means logical necessity the main idea behind logical necessity is unique solution and even now you must have understood when you use the word unique solution or or logical necessity the idea is what is the idea the idea is always vouch for always go for at least wala case why is it so because the at least case will be true no matter what there is something called inductive reasoning there is something called inductive reasoning that we have termed as lp logical possibility 
just below this i want to people to write it down we always go for ln and only in case of absence of ln we go for lp we always try to find logical necessity that is unique solution and only in case of absence of ln we go for lp write this point this points are very important second point i want you people to categorically write this lp plus maybe this is a this is the the second point this one is very co common in especially ssc exams and in banking sector exams lp plus maybe has got same power as as what ln i want you people to write this uh, in your exam they haven't used the statement but near future they will definitely use this lp plus maybe is as good as ln always remember this after this i have told you four different premises in the third point i have told you four different premises first was all all x is or r y what is the meaning of this every element of x is element of y it means that there is no element of x that is not y after this i had said no x is or r y this was the second premise we discussed it means no element of x is element of y it means that there is not even one single element of x which is y is it fine everybody then we have discussed about sum what does that mean at least one element of x is element of y and maximum maximum entire x can be y that's not a problem and finally right at the end we have discussed sum not and what does this sum not the meaning of the statement is at least one element of x is not y that is the thing we should focus upon so this is the summary of syllogism and now we'll start the question i'll be taking just three questions that's it and with these three questions i'll complete this so that even if you see any question from syllogism right right here right now after these three questions you'll do it is it fine shall we proceed everybody is it fine is it fine to each and every one of you great absolutely perfect is it fine great i think it is absolutely clear right absolutely perfect now let's see the questions so in the example what i have done i have taken the questions which actually came in your exams right i have straight away taken those questions which have which have come in your exams let's see this is the first one what is the first question this is the first question this was the question this question was asked in the year 2014 here it is so this question was asked in the year 2014 uh this this question was asked in the year 2014 what was the question all okay all women are entrepreneurs we'll draw it one by one right any which ways i'll send you the pdf so don't worry about it when you say the statement all women so let us suppose the circle is about women and we say all women are oh i'm sorry all women are entrepreneurs now this is perfect yes so when we say that all women are entrepreneurs what is the meaning of this 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 is the circle all women are entrepreneurs it means there is no women who is not entrepreneur it means every single woman is an entrepreneur this is how the circle will be formed great after that some women are doctors now listen to this what is that we have drawn till now we have drawn this right this is the circle for entrepreneurs listen to this very very carefully because i'll be discussing a very important point and this is what i have drawn earlier all women are entrepreneurs but when we read this statement some women are doctors listen to this let me take some good color a green some women are doctors this is what it means sir what am i supposed to draw like this who what is this so some women So sir is it incorrect in syllogism it is not about incorrect 
in syllogism it is listen to this you listen to every single discussion very very carefully in these three questions in these three discussions i think i'll clear all your doubts right so listen to this very very carefully when you say some women are doctors it means there is at least one woman who is a doctor sir you mean to say that this is incorrect right no i'm not i haven't said that the problem is with for to make this happen you need more information what kind of information all entrepreneurs are doctors like that kind of information but that kind of information we don't have what is information that we have some women are doctors sir in that case i have one query one doubt and what is that listen to this sir in the question it has been said that all women all women are entrepreneurs right sir absolutely right absolutely right sir let us suppose if this question would have been what some entrepreneurs are doctors now this is a very good point sir if this question would have been this in that case what i would have done what am i supposed to do is this correct the first one or is this correct the second one what do you guys say which one is correct if this statement would have been some entrepreneurs are doctors in that case what we would have preferred the first figure or the second obviously this one the second one sir why the first is incorrect because if the statement would have been some entrepreneurs are doctors it means we have the information only about doctors and entrepreneurs we are not aware of anything between women and doctor whether women and doctor are related or not is it clear to each and every one so this would have been an assumption is it clear to each and every one of you second absolutely correct venkatesh shubhangi alok mohit yes absolutely perfect it means you have understood this great to see this nice so i think we have understood every single person has understood this right i think we have understood this great so some women are doctors so some women are doctors so this means that uh, this is not required this is not required and this is the answer i want you people to draw this because i'll be providing you the question not the solution i don't have the solution so we'll be discussing this right all these questions so now what do you say which one is the correct answer these are the options a b c d post your answers please let's see what you've got i want you people to mark your answers these are the options a b c d these are not my options these are the same options which have been given by iit all women are doctors all doctors are entrepreneurs all entrepreneurs are women this is the diagram we have all women are doctors no we are not sure of that all doctors are entrepreneurs all doctor no we are not sure about this as well all entrepreneurs are women all entrepreneurs are women some entrepreneurs are women not all some entrepreneurs are doctors absolutely this circle so i think we have understood this d is absolutely correct answer is it clear to each and every one of you this was the first question is it clear to each and every one of you is it fine so we have understood this right मेरे ख्याल से यहां तक सभी को समझ में आ चुका है आई हैव टेकन अ फ्यू सेशन ऑन वोकेबलरी एंड आई विल टेक अ फ्यू मोर डोंट वेरी इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट आई विल टेक अ फ्यू मोर ऑन वोकेबलरी बिल्डिंग दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम क्या है फिफ्टीन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टीन मेनी ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स अर्लियर हैव गॉट फिफ्टीन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टीन इन एप्टीट्यूड इट इज पॉसिबल इंडियड इट इज पॉसिबल इन गेट एप्टीट्यूड इन फिफ्टीन आउट गेटिंग फिफ्टीन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टीन इन एप्टीट्यूड इज पॉसिबल डोंट वरी राइट हाँ जी जयदीप आई सॉ दैट चलिए मूव ऑन गाइज this time i want you guys to let me know the answer right let's see the next question the next question was asked in the year 2015 and this was the question i am giving you 1 minute and let's see who gets the correct answer you've got 1 minute i won't i will not be touching this question for the next 1 minute 
This question was asked in the year 2015. Let's see who gets the correct answer. Go ahead, post your answers. C, C, great. Anybody, any other answer? Anyone, any other answer? Arun, Uday, Piyush, um, Manda, Anand, Rohit, Ronak, Lizzie. Lizzie, good to see your regular. Piyush, Achintya, Shweta. Utkarsh, Hemant, Palani, Shubir, Arun, great. D, who said that D? Ah, Hemant. There are most of us, most of the students have said C. Fine, great. Let's see this. No manager is a leader. The only me the meaning of this statement is very easy actually. This is the circle for manager. Yeah. This is circle for manager and this is a circle for leader. So the meaning of this is they are not interrelated. They are absolutely disjoint. Okay. And after this, all leaders are executive. Let me take one more color. All leaders are executive. How am I supposed to draw? All leaders are executive. Sir, you know what? What? Sir, if you want, you can draw it like this. Do you know what? Sir, what? If I want, I can draw the entire board. But that's an absolute piece of trash. Sir, why? Because we are not aware of this. That executive and managers, are they related? or not the piece of information that has been provided to us can only let us know that leaders all leaders are executive that is it mr. Sachin Tandulkar made hundred centuries okay that's fine that does not mean mr. Tendulkar is from India sir but I have been watching cricket for the past so many years I think from my last birth I think I have been recarcinated and this is my second birth and in, even this, this time I have been watching cricket and I can clearly tell you that Mr. Tendulkar is from India. Now listen to this. There is something called factual truthfulness and there is something called logical truthfulness. Factual truthfulness tells you what is factually correct. Logical truthfulness tells you in the given context what is true. When you say Mr. Tendulkar made 100 centuries, it only means that Mr. Tendulkar made 100 centuries. There is nothing to prove that he, which nationality he is from. What is his nationality? Is he from India or some other country? Is it fine, everybody? So that is what, you know, logical reasoning is. Great. So we can draw up to here. That is it. Manager, leader and executive. Let's see this. Conclusion part. No manager is an executive. No manager is an executive. We cannot say anything about this. Why? We don't know the executive will come over here or will it, it will cut like this or it will take entire circle. We cannot tell anything about the relation between these two variables. No executive is manager. We cannot tell any relation between these two variables. And that is why most of the people said the answer is C, which is absolutely correct. And it is good to see. Is it fine, everybody? Is it clear to all? Absolutely correct. Right? So please you reduce the thickness. Here is sick patle me to gaya bhi ho jayega. I think this is the minimum I'm using. Right? Great. Sir, when can we explain? I'll take that. Don't worry. In the very, very, very soon I'll take that. This week I'll take, in a couple of days I'll take TSD. That's not a problem. Shall I take another one? Shall I take the next question? Let's take the third question from time speed distance. This particular question was asked in the year 2017. And this is a very beautifully crafted question. Uh, slightly. Okay, fine. I'm giving you guys two minutes. Let's see who can give the correct answer in next two minutes. Go ahead. Two minutes, guys. Take it as a challenge and mark your answers, please. Two minutes. Mark your answers. Go ahead. Two minutes you have. If you are ready before two minutes, you can always post your answer. Let me see. Great.
Tomorrow I'll be taking some special questions from permutation combination probability on YouTube. That will be accessible to all of you. And then tomorrow we'll discuss when can we have a log class, right? Great. B, B you guys are saying. Great, great. Most of you are saying B. Nice. Absolutely. I think we should discuss this. I think we should discuss this now. Make it fast, guys. Everybody, please make it fast. Some tables are shelves. Listen to this. Some tables. This circle represent tables. Some tables are shelves. I have written SHL for shelves. Some shelves are chairs. Okay. I'm taking different colors just to make you understand every single piece of information. Some shelves are chairs. Okay. Just look at this figure. I haven't touched this red circle, that table circle, because we don't have the information. I barely know that, that shelves and chairs, they cut each other. That's it. I don't have any information about tables and chairs. So how can I? How can I cut these two circles? Just see this carefully. Observe this carefully, right? All chairs are benches. Okay. All chairs are benches. Anybody who has got any doubt in this? Some tables are shelves. Some shelves are chairs. And all chairs are benches. I want to be able to draw this. And if it is possible, take different, different colors. If it is possible. This is what I was saying. This question revolves around just this statement. What is the meaning of some? Some is actually I should not have written like at least one. That is what the meaning of some is at least one. At least one bench is a table. At least one bench. No, we are not sure. We cannot comment on this. At least one shelf is a bench. At least one shelf is a bench. This is a good point. This is a very good point. At no, where is that? No, the second one, I'm sorry. The second one I was talking about. I was talking about this second. At least one chair is a table. At least one chair is... No, no, we're not sure of this. All benches, all benches, to, all benches are chairs. No, some benches are chairs or we can say all chairs are benches. Oh, once again, this is also not true. So what is the correct answer? Only second statement is absolutely true. Is it clear to each and every one of you? Is it fine, everybody? Is it fine? Absolutely clear. Great. Absolutely fine. Current thickness of pen is absolutely fine. Yeah, okay. Is it clear to each and every one of you? Hanji, Rahul. Yes, I saw that. <clears throat> right? Great. Right? I think we should move on. Let me take the next question. Once again, this question was asked in the year 2017 and I found this question very interesting. Let's see this. Whether you can give me an answer or not, but I don't think you need two minutes for this. I am giving you 60 seconds. One minute. One minute. And I want you people to give me an answer in one minute. Go ahead. One minute, guys. You have to give me an answer in one minute. One minute. 60 seconds. Gate 2017. This question was asked. In the year 2017, this question was asked. Go ahead. Great. D, D. Okay. Most of you are saying D. Anybody, any other answer? D. Just 60 seconds. Make it fast, guys. Akansha, Palani, Mihir, Priyanshu, Jyoti, Aman, Pritam, Balbir. Okay, Priyanshu, Tunir, Swapnil, Piyush, Teja, Satul, Dibashish, Arpan. Great. As I promised, I'll be taking a special session on an Academy app that will be absolutely free. Sir, but in that case, why you are taking it on an Academy app? Because there's so much chaos as actually. So as I told you, I'll be taking one, a few sessions on an Academy app. Especially for those people who have some idea of the topic. So the level of difficulty will be slightly on the higher side. So those people who love challenge, those people 
who want to surpass the level of exam i'll be taking a few sessions on unacademy app that will be absolutely free there's there's nothing means you can directly log in that's it you need to install the app and you can see me that's it will that be fine is what do you say are you guys excited for that shall i take that the level of difficulty will be slightly high that I'm, that i'm assuring you guys the level of difficulty will be slightly on the higher side that is specifically for those people uh, who you know who want some slightly tougher level of difficulty slightly you know the level of those who are looking for slightly higher level of difficulty you know, slightly tougher questions right so that will be quite exhilarating especially to those people who are actually don't mind but those who are actually preparing right so i do believe those kind of people will enjoy it those kind of people will enjoy right so <clears throat> i'll let you know right and that this is my promise to you guys that will be absolutely free so that's not not a problem uh, so the day i announce <clears throat> you can follow me on an academy app and you'll get the notification and i'll announce it in the class i'll announce it tomorrow itself don't worry okay? i'll exactly announce the date like on this day at this time so block your time just like elon musk used to do elon musk why elon musk is considered to be one of the most you know he has got fantastic time management tools and one of his time management tools is called time blocking techniques someday i'll discuss with you guys what is a time blocking technique and um, if possible someday i'm going to discuss with you guys how to make habits there's a fantastic book written on how to make habits that is um, written by james clear and the name of the book is atomic habits sir but is is the habit really important yeah it is you need to disguise your brain so that you you know you actually enjoy your habits ultimately we are our habits and to understand this you under you need to understand some neurotransmitters like dopamine non epinephrine and uh, serotonin once you understand how whatever we are right now is because of a hor hormone called dopamine and that is why people these days around the world they mean dopamine they do dopamine detox so sorry it means whatever i am whatever i have achieved wherever i you know wherever i i actually saw failure is because of one hormone dopamine yes one that one hormone dopamine what happens when we do meditation what happens to our neurocortex what is gyrification we'll talk about all these things someday right once you're done with your exam we'll definitely talk about this i do believe these things can help you uh, many of my interviews on many of my interviews i had talked about all these things and those interviews were you know <laughs> really good interviews i really enjoyed those interviews so we'll talk about it before your interview i'll be taking your interviews as well on youtube as well uh, on youtube i'll be taking those interview sessions so absolutely fine right that will help you guys as well let's come back to this all benches are beds okay these are benches but i want to write b e n b e n yeah b n is more than enough all benches are beds see these figures all benches are beds even if anybody has got any doubt just see this no beds are bulbs okay it means beds and bulbs are two entirely different figures okay no beds are bulbs okay and after this some bulbs are lamps just see this some bulbs are lamps that's it i want you people to look at the figure i have drawn if anybody has got any doubt they can always let me know if anybody has got any reservations they can always let me know right great let's come back to this some beds are lamps some beds are what lamps let's see no we cannot say anything on this how can we like we know all ben all benches are beds some bulbs are lamps but we don't know the relation between beds and lamps right some lamps are bed beds some lamps some lamps are here are some lamps how these two things are related we cannot comment on how these beds and lamps are related we cannot comment anything on this so only first second neither neither is absolutely correct is it clear to each and every one of you is is it clear to each and every one of you great is absolutely fine great nice right absolutely i will i will 
I will share you the complete schedule. I will be taking classes at 8 in the morning and 10 in the evening. That is for sure for this entire week. Someone has asked regarding the schedule. So I will be taking a class at 8 in the morning and 10 late evening throughout the week till Saturday. I play cricket on Sunday. That is the reason. Right? And I love playing cricket. That is the reason. Is it fine everybody? Don't mind but that is true. Is it clear everybody? Is it absolutely fine? Right? Great. I think it is absolutely fine. Great. Let's move on. Shall we move on to the next one? Shall we move on to the next one? Is everybody fine with this? Mixture and allegation, I, I'll take that. I'll take that with uh, this. What do you call this? Uh, percentage topic. Fine. Great. Great. Yeah, syllogism is very easy. Syllogism is very easy. And you guys are really doing well. <coughs> you know what happened? In the year 2019, they drafted a very beautiful question. On Silosum, they drafted a very, very beautiful question. I want the people to answer this. And even if you get it, forget about correct, even if you get incorrect answer, don't get disheartened because this is actually a very beautiful question. Right? I want the people to give time to this question and then we'll discuss. Right? So this is the question. In the year 2019, they gave this question. I want the people to take two minutes Utilize the entire two minutes and then we're going to have a discussion. Go ahead. Let me move. Yeah, I think now it is absolutely as well. Take two minutes. Uh, banking, uh, yeah, in banking exams, syllogism, actually syllogism is same throughout. The presentation is slightly different. Are you a professional cricketer? No, I'm not a professional cricketer. I played nationals in cricket. But after that, I play only tournaments. Great. Let's go ahead. I want the people to mark the answer. Anyone who's ready with the answer? I'll take Spatial. Uh, Opal Ranjan Sharma. I'll take Spatial. Don't worry. What is the answer? B. A few of you have said B. B. Uh, Arpan has said A. Make it fast, guys. Make it fast. B. Uh, Gulshan, Alok, Deepak. These guys have said B. Uh, Sudhir has said B. Mihir D. Shubhangi has said D. There's one girl who said D. And Arpan or some guy has said A. Ansh, An, Anusha. Anusha has said D. Yeah, Anusha, I have mentioned your answer. Aviral Jain, thank you. You are great. Yeah. Akshay, I read your message. That's fine. Sir, how can I improve? Aditya, uh, how can I improve my English? English is just a language. It's just a language. Even if you don't know English, that is also fine. I think in our country, in India, we give too much importance to English. But if it is just a language, the more you speak a language, the better you become. That's it. It's just language. The moment you start believing that, it's just a language. It means the more I say, and you know what? In our country, we believe if someone says incorrect English, it is a crime. I can show you people, although I'm going out of the syllabus, but just an example. A few days, a few days back in Sydney, I met a lady. She's a Guju, pure Guju. She don't know one single word in English. And you know what? Who asked this question to me? Someone has asked this question. And she's a pure Guju, like... And she's not very tall. She's short in stature. And you know what? She's an, she is owner of three businesses. And this lady, man, she has got some amazing level of self-belief and confidence. Forget about confidence. She has got, got some swag. Unbelievable level of swag. So, you know, English is... English, even if your English is not good, just start speaking just a language. 
English may be possible that it's a language of diplomacy, but not more than that. English cannot tell the level of intelligentsia. If you are not good at English, it's fine. It does not mean that my level of intelligentsia is not good. Even in I in the, at the time of interview in IIT or in public sector as well. Even if in that in those interviews, if you are not comfortable, you can give your interview in Hindi as well. That's absolutely fine. Is it fine? I think we should discuss now. This is one beautiful question, man. This is one really beautiful question. Let's see this. Okay. Let's see. An award-winning study by a group of researchers suggests that men are as prone. One sec. Men are as prone to buying on impulse. What is impulse? We have read in our school days, large force for a small interval of time. Right? So men are as prone to, uh, to buying on impulse as women. Okay, fine. So men and women are equally prone to buying on impulse. Whenever they feel like, they buy it. That's it. But when you've used but over here, it means we are about to change the tone. Women feel more guilty. More with respect to whom? With respect to men. More guilty about shopping. In general, men don't feel any kind of guilt. In general, men don't feel any kind of guilt. Right? Something has happened, has happened. That's fine. So, <clears throat> men and women both are equally prone to buy on impulse. Okay. But there's one thing that women are more prone. More women feel more guilty about shopping. Which the following statements can be inferred from this? The idea is whether you know the meaning of all, some, few, many. Even before starting this, even before starting this, I should tell you something. And what is that? I want you people to write this absolutely crisp and clear. Listen to this very, very important point. First thing. In case of countable and in case of uncountable, I have written in short, C is countable, U and C is uncountable. In case of countable, we write words like few. We write words like a few. We write words like the few. Sir, what is this? These are siblings of the word some. But we'll talk about that. Don't worry. In case of uncountable, in case, oh sorry, in case of few, we prefer writing little. In case of a few, we write a little. In case of uncountables, in case of a few, we prefer writing the little. Sir, but what is the meaning of all these things that I'm explaining? Just a minute. Hold on for a sec. Now, let us suppose any one of you, let's take anyone's name. Let's suppose Harsh. Like, let's suppose Harsh. Let's suppose Harsh after this gate, he cracked gate AIR rank 1. He went to IIT Mumbai. Superb, outstanding. He completed MTech from there. And then he took a presentation. He, he had this presentation. Where you think Harsh thought like I am I am a fantastic speaker. Harsh thought that, Harsh is thinking this that I am a very good speaker. I am a valuable speaker. So okay, fine. If I am taking a presentation, I think thousand people will come. And then Harsh came to me and he said, "Sir, do you want to learn how to give public presentations?" I said, "No, Harsh. I am absolutely fine in my own small world." Harsh said to me, sir, if you want, I can teach you. Anyways, I am going to have a public presentation. I am going to have a presentation and there are, you know, thousand seats are available. If you want, you can, I can teach you one, something. I said, okay, fine, Harsh. On the D-Day, when the presentation was there, there were three people. First, Harsh. Second, I was there. And the third person was the person who fitted Mike over there. And there was one more guy. So the four people in the auditorium. So we said this statement. Few people turned up for the seminar. Listen to this very, very carefully. Few people turned up for the seminar. Few is a negative word. 
when you use the word few it means almost nobody almost nobody almost no one barely any you understood this have you understood this point few people turned up for the seminar it means barely anyone came for the seminar man there was seat for thousand people and four people including harsh there were four people including me and the person who fitted mic we are we are total four people that's almost nobody came for the seminar and this is called the reality of life then harsh come to know it might be possible i am a good speaker it might be possible i have the quality but at the very same time it takes time to attract my audience at the very same time i need to have those kind of products so that audience can come so the next time when harsh gave presentation once again there were thousand seats which were which were available 50 people came up came for the seminar 50 is still not that you know 50 for the for an auditorium which has got capacity for 1000 if 50 people came then it means 5% people 5% still you know that not that much but still it is good enough when you say the word a few it means some few minutes back i said this statement to you some is an outrightly positive word and then we said the statement some people turned up for the seminar so or a few people turned up for the seminar see can you able to understand the difference between the two statements when you said few people turned up for the seminar it means barely anybody came for the seminar when you said a few people turned up for the seminar you you mean some some people countable number of people turned up for the seminar is it clear to each and every one of you have you understood this far some and uh, few and a few is it clear to all fine <coughs> is it clear to each and every one of you great let's move on to the next one let's take a few more kids including harsh uh, rahul is there and uh, let us suppose mohammad shoaib is there so these are three friends harsh mohammad shoaib and rahul right these are three guys so harsh mohammad shoaib and rahul this is the circle these guys don't have many friends but this is what they have 10 years down the line when these three guys met one of them was coming via lamborghini the other person had an audi the third person was he has got a charter plane and each one of us we were just looking at these guys what these guys are these guys are man filthy rich and we asked harsh do you have do you have many friends harsh can we be your friends harsh said to us that we said the few friends harsh has are all filthy rich man the few friends it means not many listen to this very carefully not many but all that i have but all that i have that's what the meaning of the few is three friends there are not many but this is what i have this is the meaning of the few is every each and every person clear with these three points few a few the few is everybody clear absolutely is everybody clear with these three points few a few the few right great and do remember these words are very very important for different different competitive exams whatever i said till now i said few people here people is countable few people few people turned up for the seminar a few people turned up for the seminar so people in this case is countable harsh in case of harsh we said the few friends that is countable when you use uncountable in that case we say little a little and the little little a little the little right little a little the little i want to people to find the meaning of all these three this is exactly similar to this 
ओके फाइन लेट मी गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द लिटल लेट अ सपोज आई वॉन्ट अफ नेम ऑफ सम लेट अ सपोज वी टेकन सुधीर सुधीर गिरी राइट right? सुधीर कुमार गिरी लेट अ सपोज सुधीर इज अ पास आउट फ्रॉम आई आई टी डेली टेन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन सुधीर इज वर्किंग विद गूगल ही इज एसोसिएटेड विद गूगल एंड ही हैज मूव टू डेनमार्क In Denmark, you have to do you know all your tasks, daily routine, work, and all those things you have to do on your own. So, ten years down the line, by by twenty twenty thirty one, Sudhir is located in Denmark with his wife and a young, very young son, young kid, barely two to three years old. And Sudhir one day thought, let me make a sandbox for my kid. And then he thought, do I have any idea of carpentry? I don't think I have any idea. On the very first day of engineering, I went to workshop, and uh, that's it. That is the maximum idea I have about carpentry. And then, once he made this sandbox, Sudhir thought that the little, the little. What is that? The little. Even. the little idea of carpentry really helped me out the little it means sudhi so doesn't have much idea of carpentry but whatever he has really helped him out not much but all that he has just like that in case of few little a few a little is it fine i want people to line i want people to write one single example of for each one of them and post it in the comment box once the video is public later on you can do that is it clear to each and every one of you is it fine everybody is it clear to each and every one of you great is it clear to each and every one of you right i think now let's move on to this question why we were discussing all these things we were discussing all these things because there's some reason and what is that oh i think i should shift to the side all <coughs> so the question was men and women they are equally prone but women feel more guilt after shopping all men and women indulge in buying on impulse an award winning study by a group of researchers suggested that men are as prone all as prone right men all men and women indulge in buying on the problem is here with this all here we can say that yes indeed there are some men who buy on impulse exactly in the same manner as women some yes here is some men and women indulge this is a very good statement let's see let's see the third one see the problem with the third one is few here if a few was there both these statements would have been correct but the problem is here it is written few and what is the meaning of few barely any so barely any men and women indulge in buying on impulse is it clear to each and every one of you someone has marked c so is it clear many men and women many men and women many is a vague version of some some is a positive word for the same thing when you say some it means at least one men is must be there who buy on impulse as a women is it clear to each and every one of you that is why b is absolutely correct is it clear to each and every one of you not vague 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 not clearly mentioned is it clear to each and every one of you great a few is some fine fine great why not all because here it is written men are as prone as buying right just by this we cannot say that all men but yes indeed we can say at least one men must be there who buy on impulse as women it might be possible all of them but all is just a logical possibility and this is logical necessity this is for sure 100% true probably all men this can also be true that is why i think this is clear to each and every one of you i think because you guys have performed really well so is it fine everybody is it clear to each and every one of you now 
now can you feel now are, are you feeling confident in this part syllogism is it clear to right is it clear to each and every one of you are you feeling confident in this now is it fine everybody is it clear to each and every one of you great absolutely meaning of as prone prone vulnerable if i am prone to do something i am vulnerable i am pro my proclivity my penchants is towards that particular work my inclination is towards that particular work i am prone to uh, men are prone to what sports i guess i am prone to play any kind of sports i am vulnerable to like if provided an option to watch netflix or to go for to go for a run or to play cricket or football anything i'd prefer playing that's what prone is right is it clear to each and every one of you every one of you great i think it is fine i think because you guys have done really well i think you deserve a small breather and that i'm going to give you guys right before that this is almost the last week of yours before the exam this is the final week of uh, final week before the exam it might be possible you are going through different kind of emotions different kind of uh, what do you say traumatizing stuffs you know what <clears throat> life is all about this right now you are young kids 18 19 20 22 years old you guys are very very young kids at this time or even before this probably you you have made some mistakes probably you you know you went for some kind of ventures week which were not that successful even in that case too it's absolutely fine the biggest problem of life is not taking any risk it's absolutely fine and most of us we don't take any risk just for the sake just for the sake of the fact that if i do something what others will say what others will say we should have a benchmark for ourselves that instead of sitting here idly i would prefer dying tr die trying whatever wherever you are whatever you are facing tell yourself tell your gut tell deep down the heart whatever the situation is irrespective of the fact i am good enough to to fight the situation or not i am going to face it fight it finish it i want to be able to write in the comment box face it fight it finish it write it in the comment box i am going to face it fight it finish it whatever the situation is set high standards for yourself that you will not going to give up you will not going to give up irrespective of the fact what others are saying about you it's not important the important thing is i should never become someone else's mental prisoner i don't need someone's bloody accreditation and affiliation if you know who you are and what you are doing as long as you know that you don't need other person's acceptance and this and in this world in this world of social media some or the other day we need to understand whatever i do whatever you do you will be disliked and you know what who is disliked the person who has got something that is good if you do something if you face the difficult times that build your character and that is important that is very very important so whatever situation you are going through embrace it endure it and accept it and that is what the entire stoicism is embrace it endure it and accept it just fight it out it is the fight that is important it is the fight that transforms an individual the greatest value of human life 
is not what you get. The greatest value of human life is what you become. And every single time when you fight, when you are at the middle of the fight, tell yourself that I am powerful beyond measures. It is not who can let me, it is who can stop me now. When you go with that kind of aggression, that kind of attitude, mark my words, nobody has got the heart to stop you. Nobody has got the audacity to stop a person who don't want to give up. There's a very beautiful book. The name of the book is uh, um, The Greatest Salesman of the World by Augment Dino. This book is not related to salesmanship. Augment Dino, this guy, Unfortunately, he had a very bad childhood. He has written this book on his own life. This is an autobiography and he's written such a beautiful, the, the drafting of this book is incredible. He had a very bad childhood, unfortunately. Then his mother passed away and he got so much you know, in, affected by the emotion that it took him some years to cope up with this. After that, he met a girl, they got married, God blessed him with a, uh, a, a baby girl. But every single working professional, some or the other day, believe that because I work so hard for myself, for my family, for everybody, I think I deserve some, you know, I deserve some quality time for myself. And then he started drinking. And then this transformed into a habit. And then he got addicted to this. His wife told him, if you keep on doing this, I'll, I'm going to leave you. He said, okay, fine, leave, leave me. And his wife actually left him. One day he was dead drunk. He's standing right in front of a weapon shop. There was a gun over there. And the price of the gun was, I think, $20 or something. He saw that sticker. He saw that price tag. And the first thought that comes into his mind was, that is the solution to all my problems. He saw the gun and the first thought that came into his mind was, that is the solution to all my problems. You know what this is called in real life, real world. In real life, in real world, this is called the ultimate law of life. When an individual feels death is easier than living. So after this, after this, how he transformed and became, excuse me, and became a successful person that he has written in the book. Wow. Amazing. And he transformed into a successful person, a successful businessman. Not just a business, I'm sorry, but a successful working professional. He had a very good years ahead. He once again get, got married to some other lady and he had a fantastic life. And he had written all these learnings in a book. Incredible. After you get exam, promise yourself that you will read at least one book per week. If you read one book per week, you'll end up reading four books a month. You'll end up reading almost 50 books a year and you'll end up reading 500 books in a decade. If you read 500 books in a decade, mark my words, there will not be one nook and one corner of your life that will remain untouched. Start reading any book, whichever you want, but make sure you read in some something. Sir, what happens with this in, when, when we read? When you read, when you just live your life, you can live one life. But when you read, you can actually live multiple lives. And that is the beauty of reading. Many of my interviews when I was a kid, it means when I was a college graduate, many of my interviews were entirely based on my reading. Many of my interviews. And when, in fact, when I was in quarantine, when I was in Darwin, when I was in quarantine center, I was staying in one room and exactly beside me there was one American couple. And you won't believe we were discussing on stoicism. He was, his name was Tony and he was, a, he was someone who was extremely fond of stoicism. And then we had a talk on Pimotasia Melorum. And then we had a talk on Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, Seneca, these kind of stuff. And that was very enlightening and it was a very good discussion. So my just, I just wanted to say that. If it is possible, after gate, make sure you read. Someone was asking like, sir, how to improve my English? If you keep on reading, English will automatically take care of itself. Right? 
Fine. As I told you guys, because you have done really well, I think you deserve a breather. In the year 2013, Gate has given this question. And I think you are good enough to mark the answer in less than 45 seconds. Oh, sorry. Not minutes. I'm sorry. Sorry. 45 seconds. 45 seconds, guys. Make it fast, please. Make it fast. Sir, aapka plus aega gate ka? Yes. In February. In the month of February. I'll be there. The spelling of grammar is G-R-A-M-M-A-R. -M -M yes, I'll discuss. Don't worry. Don't miss this. Less than 45 seconds. Go ahead, guys. Suggest some books. Uh, I'll do one thing. I'll share. Who said this? Mohammed Shoaib. Shoaib, what I'll do? I'll share my... I think I've read almost 600 or 700 books. I, I don't know. I don't remember how many books I read. What I'll do? I'll share my PDF to you guys. If anybody is interested, they can. And you can update it. I have made an Excel sheet. Whatever I read. Means I don't know how many books I read, but a few. I just read a few books. But whatever I've read, I made an Excel about most of them. So I'll share the Excel. I'll share the Excel on Telegram, so you can see that, right? And you can update it accordingly. Fine. D D D. Okay. This is the correct answer. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Abhishek is elder too. Do you remember uh, day before yesterday or la yeah. Saturday? Saturday or Friday we were discussing about elder or older. Do you remember this? And I told you categorically that elder and older or eldest oldest. What is the difference? I told you this, if anybody is attending the session for the very first time, I want the people to understand this and write it loud and clear and understand this and write it absolutely crisply. What is that? The difference between elder and older is elder eldest is used only for living being and that too for human being. Elder eldest. First point. Second point. Um, in case of older oldest, older oldest can be used for human being and for non-living being and for non-living being as well. Sir, what do you said about elder eldest? Elder eldest is used only for human being and only for blood relatives. Second point, older is followed by then and elder is never followed by then. Right? So whenever there are blood relatives, we prefer elder. Abhishek is elder to Savan, just like this. Okay, fine. Abhishek is elder to Savan. Okay, after this, Savan is younger to Anshul. But what about Ab Abhishek and Anshul? My point, Abhishek, let me write AB. My point is Abhishek and Anshul. They, Abhishek can be, Abhishek and Anshul can be like this. It might be possible Abhishek is elder, than, uh, elder to Anshul or Anshul is elder to Abhishek. This we are not aware of and that is what the options are. Abhishek is elder to Anshul and Anshul is elder to Abhishek. Both, both of them, they have the same age. None of the above. All these options are possible. Is it clear to each and every one of you? Is it fine, everybody? Is it fine, everybody? Is it clear to each and every one of you? Yes. I will share the PDF. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll share the PDF. That's fine. Right? Right. Right. Great. Shall we take one more or are you guys tired? Shall we take a few more questions? At least one more. Uh, video description topic. Uh, Dhruv Mystery. I intentionally don't write any of the topics. You know why? Because I don't want you people to be aware of the topic. I'm letting you know why. Because in your exam, the syllabus of gate aptitude is very small. Don't unnecessarily, you know, bifurcate these topics. Just club it. For example, when I take permutation combination, it is basically permutation combination probability and number system, all three combined. When I take percentage, percentage, profit loss, special allegation, CISI, DI, all together combined. That, is, that makes things easier actually. Just think of this, I take syllogism and then logical connective and then critical reasoning together. So that is what the, you know, that is what is needed. Right? So that's why. I think we, sh we shall, yeah, not tired. So I think we should take one more question. It's good to see. In the year 2014, this question was asked and once again, I feel you are good enough to solve this. Just read this carefully and I'm giving you guys two minutes 
to give me answer of this question. Two minutes, guys. Make it fast. Two minutes. Two minutes you have. Make it fast, guys. I'll share the previous PDF. Don't worry. Tomorrow, when will you take PNC? Six. Six in the evening. The link will be there. Don't worry. You can see, see the link and I'll share the link in the Telegram as well. Telegram link, uh, Apti Express and Saurabh Sir Official. These are the two links. Yes, I do teach for CAT. Earlier, I, I used to teach students for CAT and I will. In the near future, I will. But the very first thing I'm going to start for gate 2022 and 23. But after that, it might be possible. I'll take for CAT as well. That's not a problem. On YouTube, like whatever time allows, the main idea is to first of all to help those students who are appearing for 2021 right they must feel confident so accordingly i'll take this sir one self-help book name Up opal ranjan sharma these are my favorite authors you can read any book of these authors self-help book you asked jim ron opal write the name jim ron stephen covey brian tracy Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Napoleon Hill, Zig Ziglar, Mr. Shiv Khera. Any book, whichever you want, you can pick. Author of the greatest salesman of the world, Augment Dino. Augment Dino. Augment Dino. Slightly difficult name, but that's it. That is the name. I think we should discuss now. That's fine. Okay, I think we should discuss now. Right? Yeah. D. D. A. Okay, fine. Yeah, I read the book. The, yeah, yeah. The Magic of Thinking Big, I read that book. Four children, okay. Som is younger to Riyaz. Let me write this. Som is younger to Riyaz. Uh, one more thing even before starting this um, if you see the trend of gate aptitude paper especially these kind of reasoning questions you know what you will see these inequality questions are almost common in ev you know, every single paper so you can expect one question from critical reasoning one to two questions from critical reasoning and you can expect these inequality kind question one at least inequality type question and one series based question number system number series alphabet series like that question right so can you able to understand like what kind of paper will be there so this is what the trend has been so far okay fine let's come back to this let's take this information piece by piece so that everybody can understand som is younger than riyas so here this guy is riyas and som is younger than this guy i have written so because later on there's one more guy shiv shiv is elder to anshu shiv is elder to anshu okay Anshu is youngest superlative degree. Anshu is youngest. Let me write this. One, two, three, four. Here is Anshu. Sir, why you have encircled it? Because it's fixed. The kind of reasoning question which comes in your exam is very easy. So don't mess it up. It's very, very easy. Right? You, which of the following statements are required? Okay. Required for what? To let you know the eldest child in the group. Who will come here? That is what they want to know. But when you know Anshu is here, so the problem is, the, the point is, here it can be Riyaz, okay? Any which phase, Som won't be there. Either it will be Riyaz or, what is this guy? Shiv. Either it will be Riyaz or Shiv because Som is, Som is, this guy Som is, Riyaz is elder to Som. So, any which way is either Riyaz or Shiv will be there. Let's see. Shiv is younger to Lo. This is absolutely fine. Sir, but in this case, if Riyaz comes over here, Sir, how do you know? How do I know what? Here, Som will come or Shiv will come. It might be possible this can happen or it this might even be possible that this can. So, Sir, are you saying that, that you are denying this? Because we have taken the very same thing in the previous question. No, why should I deny this? So, sir, so, so like, how can you give answer? 
Because we are not concerned about this. We are only concerned about the eldest in the group. This is what has been asked. So this statement is good enough to let you know who is the eldest in the group. And other than that, we are not concerned about anything. Okay. When you have read this statement, then at that time, we haven't read the second statement. And now when we are reading the second statement, forget about the first one. When we are reading the second statement, this is the information what we already have. And what is that? Anshu is the youngest in the group. Now let's read this. Shiv is elder to Som. If Even if you know Shiv is elder to Som. Now the point is, one thing is for sure, he, uh, one thing is for sure here Som will come. Now the problem is, it might be possible here we can have Riyas then Shiv or we can have Shiv and then Riyas. Both these statements are equally true. And this is what I was talking about logical possibility. Now there is discrepancy here. We can have Riyas or we can have Shiv as well. So I don't think this statement is good enough to let us know who is the eldest in the group. So the question was which statement is required to find the eldest in the group. So only the first statement is good enough. Statement one itself determines the eldest in the group. Yes. Statement two itself. No, it, it's not possible because there is doubt. Statement one and two both. No, not both. Only the first one. And what is that statement first and not sufficient? No, they are sufficient. And this is this pattern actually is called data sufficiency in quant. Now, is it clear to each and every one of you? Is it fine everybody? Is it fine, everybody? Is it fine, everybody? Is it clear to all? Programming CSE. So please share the list of autobiographies. You can read any autobiography. G, Starbucks, unbelievable story of Starbucks. Anyone who know who is the founder of Starbucks? Because his father, father was a truck driver and then this guy made Starbucks, Coca-Cola. Can anyone imagine like any bigger brand other than Coca-Cola? 1885 Coca-Cola was born. What is the year right now? 2021. Almost 120 years. It's one heck of a journey. They said this is God's own drink. Forget about anything else. That's how Coca-Cola came. Red Bull. You guys are young kids. So you must be preferring Red Bull. Red Bull is a drink which was preferred in Thailand. You know what? Thai, in Thailand, truck drivers prefer taking Red Bull. Then who was the person who's founder of Red Bull? You find, find this out. But I'll give you an example. Uh, give you some you know, hint on that. This person is from Austria. He went to Thailand. And because he was feeling jet lag, when he had this drink, he felt really good. And then he come to know what this drink is. And then he understood like this Red Bull and he created a separate vertical. Even though Coca-Cola was there, Pepsi was there, they were ruling the market of these beverages. And then a separate market came called, called energy drinks. By the time Coca-Cola, Pepsi could able to understand in this energy drink market, Red Bull was the market leader. And this is what the 22 immutable laws of marketing is. Whatever vertical you are in, be number one. At max, number two. This is what Dhirubhai Ambani has said to his kids, his children. Whatever vertical you are in, be number one or number two. Other than that, leave that vertical. Create your own vertical. There was no vertical called energy drink. By the time Coca-Cola could able to understand, Red Bull was way ahead in game and that is why Coca-Cola started fund funding Monster and now the two leading brands in energy drink is Red Bull and Monster. And you were asking about someone else. So Sam Walton, you can read his books, G General Electrical books, the Google way, many books, many books are there, right? Great. So is it fine everybody? Shall we take one more? I think before finishing the class, I think let's take one more. Elon Musk, yes, I will definitely take Elon Musk, not just about Elon Musk, Tesla, Hyperloop, PayPal, we'll start with PayPal, all those things. Uh, one thing which you'll see in not just Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, um, APJ Kalam Sahab, amongst all these people, they were voracious readers. They were voracious. 
in real terms in actual literal terms elon musk is a self made man he has learned everything almost everything on his own he is not a professional rocket science engineer but he has learned everything on his own unbelievable we'll discuss about hyperloop we'll discuss we can discuss about neuralink superhuman what is this project to taking to mars what is neuralink hyperloop and we'll discuss about all these things later whenever we get time we'll discuss let's come back to this first shall we take one more one last question on plus i'll be there in the month of february i'll be there right shall we take one more yeah yeah we can discuss on ai and ml artificial intelligence and machine learning we can discuss let's take one more question right right let's take the last question and with this we'll wind up but what we will do let's change the right right let's do something yeah so before this i am giving you a question this question was asked in the year 2019 but what i want you are not supposed to solve it right now if you want you can take a screenshot or you can pause the video and see the question i want you people to solve it and post it in the comment box whosoever gets the correct answer i'll like those answer oh kya bolta usko thumbs up i'll do that thumbs up right upward thumbs up whatever you say right so what you have to do is you have to see this question even if you want you can take a screenshot of that or you can directly pause the video and check it out and post your detailed answer in the comment box fine so this is the question this question was asked in the year 2019 this don't solve it right now it's fine take a take a screenshot of this or you can later on you can take the screenshot let me me move aside yeah right so this was today's session is everybody is everybody clear with every single thing whatever we have discussed is everybody clear with every single thing whatever we have discussed till now great absolutely fine i think it is absolutely clear to each and every one of you right great i want to people to write something tough something discomforting it is discomforting but i want to people to life write this i won't promise you, see the what i what should i say like the inevitable reality of life is each one of us we face some or the other kind of kind of pain i'm not saying we will never face any kind of pain but i think we can promise to ourselves what is that that promise i am i want from you promise yourself right here right now i'll grow through my pain i want you people to write this in the comment box i will grow through my pain there is a fantastic book written by viktor frankl and the name of the book is men's search for meaning this he this is an incredible guy and this is one heck of a book you won't believe this this guy he was arrested he was a psychologist and he was arrested in 1940s i'm talking about and then he was sent to concentration camp for 3 years where human being were not human being they were like they were treated like animals and you know they went through unbearable torture and pain after 3 years when the second world war was over in the year 1945 when this person was rescued people asked him sir when you were going through this kind of hell how could you able to survive he said this he said when i was going through this emotion for the past 3 years i have been tortured and i went through many different kind of unbearable pain i was thinking about men's search for meaning and i could able to find that we as a human being we find meaning to our life by three activities the first i want to do really well in my life 
for those people who love me and who I love the most. I find the meaning of my life in the love. So he said every time whenever I was going through this kind of torture, I start to feel, I start to imagine what my wife must be doing right now. Although I was not, not aware of the fact whether my wife is alive or she is dead. Actually, she was dead at that time and his, his son was also killed. But he said, although I was not aware of this, whether my wife is alive or not, but still I wanted to feel that love which I had for my wife. The second thing, men find the meaning to their life by the work they do. There are many people who want to do some kind of outstanding work so that even when they passed away, even when they pass away, their work speak volumes about them. Mr. APJ Kalam Sahab, Vargas Kurian Sahab, Atal Bihari Bajpayi Sahab, Steve Jobs Sahab, their work speak for them. Third, I will grow through my pain the sufferings. I am going to draw power from my sufferings and that is the stoicism for you. So that is it guys for today's class. I want you people to write in the comment box. I will grow through my pain. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll meet in tomorrow's class. Tomorrow at 8 in the morning we're going to have first class that is quant and di. That is graph. And after that we're going to discuss some very good questions from permutation combination probability and later in the evening we're going to have verbal and reasoning so that is it let's call it a day signing off bye bye everybody take care jai hind